Welcome to your Monday edition of your drive through. This is where we live it up. This is New FM, Sons of Zion with Good Love. And I got uh, the two good looking guys from the band uh, joining me live in the studio. Good Love, fellas, what can you tell us about that track? Oh, it was just like uh, just an appreciation of um, our partners and, you know, all the stuff that they do for us. And sometimes it just. Oh, sometimes I feel like I was taking my message for granted, but then, you know. Just a way of appreciating her. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, and that's them on, on the video as well. So yeah. we didn't want to use anyone else, you know. We just, yeah. yeah, you'll probably get in trouble anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, what do you need a model for? Yeah, What's wrong yeah, with yeah. me? So, uh, sick of the cunts. <laughs> <laughs> nah. What do you call it? So, uh, is this something that you guys sat down together and said, hey, let's write a song for the missus? Or was it one of those, man, I'm sick of sleeping on the couch, man. Yeah, we need it. Yeah, we need it. Yeah. They're, they're demanding yeah, a song of us. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Uh, no, yeah, it, was, yeah. it was a conscious decision, decision really, to, to do it. So, yeah. I, I get the sense that it's it's maybe because of the church church background that you guys have all come from, the, there's a nice sense of a uh, wholesome family feel to the yeah, band. Definitely, bro. Yeah, I think, yeah. like, the priority, I think, for all of us is, um, you know, family, yep. music, Mm, and God, like, that's how we roll. Yeah. So it's not one of those tours where it's just go out, party, you know, trash the hotel rooms. Nah, nah. I actually hate messy, and I hate messy people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you the clean freak in the group? Oh, yeah. I hate I hate cleaning, yeah. but I hate mess too. But okay, yeah. which leads me to the following questions. Who, out of the group, who are the messy ones and who who's the most annoying to room with? And uh, why? Joel would be the messiest, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> when we say messy, what, he just leaves his clothes around? Oh, Bro, Sam has to live with you, tell them, bro. Yeah, yeah, you, you oh, he lives with me, and um, yeah, we got all our gears and stuff there, and yeah, he sits in his, in his room every day while I do the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> so you're the clean freak. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I'm, I, I think, oh, you too, Sam, like. Right? Yeah, oh, yeah, I like a bit of tidiness. Yeah. You know? Yeah. All right, so when you guys are traveling to go on tour, do you fold your clothes in neat piles, Maybe. put them into the bag, or do you just... Yeah. Throw whatever's lying around into nah, it. Nah, I like it. I like it. You know, yeah. I like to see I what I've got in inside the bag. Straps all strapped up and my socks <laughs> yeah, all bro. to the side. You know. Yeah. Were you guys always like this, or was it just something that's occurred during the tours? Uh, nah, I was probably. Uh, yeah, like I just, just yeah, I, I sort of found that you know you could go out and do a tour and you can't really find anything when you're in a rush. So I sort of learned as I went along just to have everything not uh, just neat. Yeah, Fair enough. Make it easy, you know. Mm. Hey, um. Are you guys used to hearing yourselves on radio? Um, we played a couple of your songs and you guys are jamming around, yeah. humming around. Was it was it a bit freaky at first, hearing yeah. yourselves on radio? Did yeah. you have to pinch yourself? It still blows my mind, right? Yeah. I can't believe, I still can't believe, like, you know, it's, it's playing on the radio. And, yeah. You know, people like our music, it that's just blows my mind. Man. Yeah. I think we're really grateful, you know. Yeah, like, we're really, well, There'll never be a time where I'm just like, ah, oh, yeah, that's cool, you know? Oh always be appreciative yeah, you know absolutely. to guys like yourself who are, who are pumping our music and helping us do what we do yeah. do you remember the first time you heard yourselves on radio were you did you know it was coming um i can't actually remember and that. did you hear it yourself or did you get texts and tweets from people saying hey you're on yeah. radio yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah we did it, yeah. yeah we got texts and, and we like, facebook messages yeah. and like mum would hear it and I'll be like, hey, really? Yeah. Oh. And there was a period there where everyone else was hearing it and I'd like try and hear it, like, you know, on, <laughs> in traffic when I'm driving home and that. And I always missed it. And then everyone was like, oh, did you hear this? And I was like, nah, bro. Oh. Were you thinking, man, these guys are playing me, man? Yeah, yeah I was yeah, like, yeah. are you sure? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's cool, bro. Yeah. Hey, uh, if Peter Jackson decided to make a feature film about the band, yeah. uh, which, which Hollywood actors would you like to play yourselves? Oh. Uh. And don't act like you haven't thought of this before. <laughs> Will Smith. <laughs> Up to you. Uh, oh, that guy on um, The Hangover, bro. The one with the bed. The dopey one. <laughs> the, the one with the baby. Yeah, the yeah, one with the yeah. baby. Yeah, bro. Ellen. Ellen. Yeah. I'd like Ellen. Ellen for real? Hangover. You look nothing like him. Nah, no, <laughs> yeah, but I just think he's a cracker, bro. <laughs> yeah. And uh, um, finally, if you guys went together as a group and enjoying the success that you guys have now, would you consider entering the competitions which are rife at the moment, like The Voice, Idol, X Factor? Was that something that you guys would have thought about entering? 
Um, we were we were thinking about entering um, New Zealand's Got Talent, but as a dance crew, <laughs> <laughs> but just for a laugh. But <laughs> really, yeah, but we were gonna do it. But we so thought, why didn't you do it? Nah, because I think Sadie wouldn't, wasn't gonna be happy about it. So we didn't. Yeah, do it. yeah they would have picked up your contract. Yeah, yeah, man. yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly, bro. Yeah. <laughs> But is that something that you're wanting to do, or is it just for a laugh? Nah, we're just doing it for a laugh, bro. Just to see if we could go viral with a stupid dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I don't, I don't think I can see. Yeah, and what kind of dancing are we talking about? Like oh. belly dancing? Oh, oh just, yeah, well, whatever. Yes, yeah. our style is something you've never seen before. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right, man, any upcoming gigs that we can see you guys at? Up um, and down yeah, the country? Um, we're playing uh, next week, uh, 19th of July, at uh, the studio on K Road. And that's with uh, the bros from Three Houses Down. Oh, nice. So, yeah, that'll be cool. And the next day, the 20th of July, we're down at the James Cabaret in Wellington. Um, and that's with Brown Hill. So, yeah. you know, it's good to be jamming with some polys as well. It's, um, there's a lot of, uh, I wouldn't say collaborations, but in terms of gigs, are you guys normally hang out with the same type of bands? Three Houses Down, yeah. Brown Hill. Is there any beef? Like, nah. No, just the whole industry. Do you ever talk to Sony and go, oh, look, <laughs> make sure Brown Hill are out of the building when we get there? Nah, bro, that's, nah, not at all. Yeah, that's the awesome thing about this industry, eh? oh, especially in the reggae scene. Everyone just supportive. As yeah. And, like, we still buzz out, like, hey, we're playing with, like, you know, yeah, for yeah. us, it's still, like, we get to play with these cats. Like, I remember seeing Three Houses Down when I was still at school um, at, I think it was at Pacifica, out on, out on Western Springs. Yeah, like, yeah. I still buzz to be, you know, jamming, you know, and now that we're yeah, boys with Charlie and Robin there, I still don't take it for granted, you know, like. Yeah, they're still mean. Yeah. Absolutely. And now you get to share the same stage as Charlie. Yeah, yeah, yeah bro. Yeah. yeah. Mind boggling. Was Charlie wearing leather pants back then <laughs> at that gig? Because he does. <laughs> here's some, this thing the now. Lava, here's this thing that because you know how he's lost quite a lot of yeah. weight and he's looking. He looks good, over. All of a sudden he's doing this uh, part of the set where he goes, "You ladies want to see me take my shirt off?" <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, it's the first time I saw it when they did their uh, the EP for. Moon and oh, back. Wow. And I was going, whoa, this is, where did this <laughs> come from? Like? Yeah. So, are you guys planning on doing something similar? Oh, nah. I would probably lose fans if I took myself. Nah. Uh, boys, it's um, that time where we got to say goodbye, but you guys are going to jam for us. Yeah. Uh, shout out, specifications, any any people you want to send the love to? Um, just want to um, shout out to everyone who's, who's supported us over the last few years. And um, yeah. got a new album coming out in a couple of months, so... Hope everyone goes out and grabs it. Yeah. Very nice. And uh, this song that you're about to jam, Superman, which I really love. And I love the story behind it too, because it, again, it's for the missus. Yeah. And it's. Can tell us a story, man? Oh, yeah, yeah it's you're just a about, Mr. Um, Romantic. Yeah, that's what it's about, just the missus again. <laughs> <laughs> Here to perform Superman live. <laughs> Music of Sun Design. She said she say I don't miss her, say I don't love her. Hey, hey, I'm trying to tell my girl she's worrying for nothing. Oh, she says we stand up for each other, like we're so distant, like there's something missing. Is there something I can do to fix us? Hey. Cause you were my superwoman, superwoman. I was your superman yeah. I never ever thought that love would ever let us feel this way Feel this way Cause on the outside, outside's never perfect on the inside I want you to be my superwoman And I'll be your superman, yeah she says, she says, I don't miss, I miss communication. Mm. Girl, I swear you'll never find a man that will be more dedicated than me. What would it take for you to see what I see? Girl, you got the homie, nothing less than everything. Oh, oh, oh. Why does gotta be so dramatic, like the world's a staging? Cause you know, you know, I love you. And you know, you know I'm for you Girl, you know, you know I'm down for you I'll ride for you Baby, please tell me what to say Yeah, you yeah, my yeah, superwoman. You are my superwoman I was your superman Yeah, yeah, yeah Never yeah, ever yeah. thought that love would ever let us feel this way Feel this way Cause on the outside, outside's never perfect on the inside I want you to be my superwoman, and I'll be your superman, yeah.
yeah. Hear me say she never complain about the way that things it used to be. But when we forward to the future, it be killing me. What I got for now is just an opportunity to show the best of me. So she can really see, baby. Let's walk and talk it out. Me never gonna let you walk on out. I swear I'll wear me out. Me never wanna see you break apart. Me right on side beside me. Never gonna let her take over. I don't tell you I want you to please. You and my. Superman boys, thank you so much for joining us, man. Thank you, brother. And we'll see you guys real soon in the future, eh? Cheers, bro. Thanks. What's happening? What's happening? In your hood. Click on newfm.com.